Hey, what's up? This is Eddie Orpeza here at Van Tau Music Academy in Huntington Beach. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to play Tie Your Mother Down by Queen. Um, this song is particularly awesome because it's in the key of A. It's a shuffle group. Um, and we'll just be doing the riffs today. So, uh, let me just play you the first main meat and potatoes of the song. Uh, it goes like this. <laughs> That's the main part. Um, like I said, it's in the key of A. We're just doing one of these rock and roll A's with a, the one finger. And um, the main thing you want to get to is the right hand. Um, like I said, it's a shuffle. So if you kind of keep this alternate picking thing going, you'll be in good shape and all the notes will sort of line up just right. Um, but let me show you what we're doing on that A. Um, really all it is. Um, so just make sure you're keeping that one and two and one and two all that one and two. Kind of like a triplet lick. And I'm just pulling off here, holding the A and then pulling off on that fifth string, third fret. Um, then he goes into these big old chords, uh, just a G, straight up G chord. Um, this next chord is a D over F sharp, and I'm grabbing this, just a regular D chord. We're putting that note in the bass. If you can't grab that, no worries, you just do a regular D chord. Sounds just fine. And then we play play this C add 9 chord, almost the same shape as the G, just playing on strings 5 and 4. Rest stays the same. Um, and then we do a little walk down. That would be a G over B. Um, so it's a G chord without this note, essentially. So a little walk down. Um, back into the main riff. So together, that's going to sound like this. Pretty straightforward. Um, and then Freddie comes in, he sings that a couple times, and they go up here to a high E and they do the the straight ahead um, you know, blues rhythm, bo the box rhythm. Box shuffle. So I'm playing a power chord here on seven and nine on the fifth string, fret seven and nine. Um, extending my pinky down to the eleventh fret on the D string, and we're just doing a straight shuffle. Then he goes up and hits, uh, does some accents on uh, the tenth fret, which is a G chord. Three hits, and then down to this uh, little A chord. Uh. Back into the main riff, essentially. Um, does that a few times, and then a walk up into a D chord and we're doing that box shuffle again so um, just really quickly let me go through what that's gonna sound like um, that's just going up on <laughs> open two three four then we do our box shuffle on D. Back to our A chord. Then we hit a G to a D. Back to our D again. Back and then big chorus and just the same sort of walk down that we did in the intro, but just kind of slow down. G, D, C, B, A. And really, that's uh, that's most of the parts put together. Um, let me see if I can do that. Actually, all put together. Um, we'll go from the main riff. Here we go.
lock up. G, D, A. Back to D. G, D, C. G over B. Thanks for watching today.